Okay, so I'm doing an experiment. Um, one that I kind of shamelessly stole from the New Age community. So that's your um, that's your your Reiki, your crystals, your tarot cards, um, and in that community they talk a lot about energy. It's like a really big part of the paradigm. Your energy, other people's energy, connecting to someone else's energy, or you know, like grounding yourself to the earth, that kind of thing to ground your energy. And, you know, it's a beautiful paradigm, a beautiful idea. And I just never really took it seriously until the other day I realized like energy, emotions, uh, and there's an I concept that they, they talk about calling, pulling back your energy. So to pull your energy back from a person or from a connection. And I, I sort of, put the two of them together and I realized, you know, I give so much of my emotional attention and investment to people. What were to happen if I just mirrored their emotional attention and investment? Like, what would that look like? So I took a step back um, and just sort of wanted to see like, who is contacting me? Who's inviting me places? Who's giving gifts? who's truly genuinely excited to see me, who's a co-participant in our relationship. And what absolutely stunned me was the two <laughs> abusive relationships that I've been in. Those are completely driven by me. I was absolutely shocked. I completely am the one who um, brings the joy and excitement and energy into those relationships. I'm the one that drives them forward. I'm the one that, um, you know, creates the, the things that we do, the events that we go to, the experiences that we have. And <laughs> I didn't even realize, I didn't even realize I was doing it. <laughs> so when I stopped doing it, um, my abusive ex, uh, he ended up sleeping for days on end. He he was like, I don't know what it is. I'm I'm just so tired, you know, and and uh and in the back of my mind, I'm like, yeah, it's cuz I'm not you're not vicariously surfing the wave of my, you know, emotional excitement or you're not <laughs> you're not using my energy. Um it was truly shocking, and it absolutely explains why these particular people would keep coming back, um, whereas other people wouldn't. In other relationships, I'm not the only one who is participating in that relationship. I'm not the only um, uh, catalyst for things to occur. I'm not the only one bringing emotions. But because they don't have vibrant inner emotional lives, um, even in some cases vibrant intellectual lives, they come back to me because that's where they're getting that experience because they, they're not generating it for themselves. So I super recommend it <laughs> to pull your emotional investment back, pull your excitement <laughs> and your energy, and then see what happens when you are not over giving or giving so much. If you just match sort of where they're at. Uh, and, and see which relationships are sustained and which ones absolutely just do not go forward. Anyway, hope that makes sense. <laughs> Talk to you next time.